Hi, Conrad, and welcome to the conference. I hope you're enjoying it thus far. Thank you very much. I wanted to ask you, what new tech are you seeing in game development and where is it used mostly? I mean, game has always been on the frontier of new tech, I think. Um, and what we see now is, of course, a whole set of new technologies that comes together uh, that might create new possibilities to create new games and new game experiences of different kinds. Um, and as someone who, as you said, is on the frontiers of all these new technologies, not just in gaming, but in general, what excites you the most? Where do you see in which industries this benefiting a lot? I think there is two answers on that. And one is like, of course, for specific game companies like EA, we see and could also piggyback and also explore a lot of this new tech uh, to be useful for our games. Uh, I mean, we have we we use mocap for example to capture how people move and, and to make our characters in the games move more natural uh, and this is a sort of a way to do it and uh, if you then go beyond that sort of that is the second part uh, we eventually could even see that games sort of evolves by themselves uh, and games as we see it today will become more of an interactive media experience in the future. Uh, so, so that is sort of where I see some of this uh, sort of in the way. So one of the themes is, uh, is AI uh, magic? And we all know a magical world like Harry Potter. So what type of games would you introduce to a magical world apart from Quidditch, let's say? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think games has always been a bit of a magic. That's why you play the games. You step into a new world and be able to embody into that world and take that experience. Um, so that always been, and now we, what we see, of course, is some of the new technologies that could drive this even further and completely, I mean, VR has been uh, one of these examples where you can more even get immersed. Um, VR as it take today is not maybe ready yet for the massive consumer uh, or, or the massive players because uh, it's a bit clunky and it's a bit expensive and so forth. But I, I think you will see more examples of that. I mean, we have uh, chat GPT, which enable you to talk eventually to characters in the games. Uh, and that will sort of, these kind of things will, of course, have their own magic. When the characters in the games get their personas, they know you, they l learn what you want and, and so forth. So that's yeah. some, yeah, a bit of an example. Yeah, sounds like a true magical experience in the future. Yeah. 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 Thank you for the conference and I hope you enjoy yourself.